do not wait for the hr to give the feedback you, you need to ask then and there like uh, what do you feel um, i can improve in which area i can improve you need to ask these questions so hello everyone and welcome to our channel placement interview and today we have with us mr anurag and he is here to share his experience with us so first of all mr anurag welcome to our channel placement interview and tell us something about yourself yeah so uh, hi sonia and uh, hi everyone uh, thanks for having me here and uh, uh, let me talk about uh, like who i am and from where i am came from so i am from uh, amravati it's uh, it's in the maharashtra it's near nagpur so i just uh, i'm a 2021 pass out i did mtech from uh, vnit college um, that is vishweshwara national institute of technology in the nagpur so before that um, i was uh, i was in the pune i did engineering in electronics and telecom and um, yeah pretty much that's about it so would you tell us something about the company you are currently working with so yeah i am uh, currently with uh, nxp semiconductor so the motto of nxp semiconductor is to enable secure connection that's the that's the main motto that's the bottom line so we we are in the automotive sector we are in the communication infrastructure uh, we are in the industrial automation smart city smart home kind of things uh, also in the mobile equipment um so in the automotive we have uh, some applications like adas uh, infotainment um, you know functional safety and other things and uh, yeah so i'm 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 in the automotive sector the, that uh, the nxp uh, automotive is the main uh, you know bread and butter you can say for nxp or it's the main um, area for nxp so as you know that there are some roles and responsibilities in a day to day basis so on your profession what is the main role of yours uh so i am emulation engineer uh, let me talk about what emulation um, engineer is so before the tape or before the actual manufacturing before the chip designing we have to um, prototype it uh, on some emulator on some um on some environment uh before chip designing because uh if we found any bug or errors uh after manufacturing so it will be like a um million multi million dollar loss for the company so before that we we need to verify it rigorously we need to as i said nxp uh nxp's main, main motto is uh, have a secure connection so we need to have uh, um robust uh, verification for the system and we need to make it reliable so that um, it makes it easier to you know in the chip uh, in the chip design or in the tape out process yeah so as as we all know that skills are really very really important in any profession we talk about so what are the skills that are specifically needed for your job profile um so particularly emulation uh, like I, i will i will say broadly what skills are needed for verification slash emulation slash validation this kind of roles so you need to have a um, uh, digital design um, concept clear then um, some basics of sta um, static uh, timing analysis and uh, you need to you need to go deep in verilog like uh the codes and the logic should be clear enough um some basics of uh if if you are strong with sv then good but you need to have some basics of sv and uh, uvm uh methodology and uh, uh also you need to have uh, the knowledge uh, in the industry protocols like um we have amba protocols or i2c pci um spi uh this kind of you art yeah this kind of things so for the technical skills that you mentioned you would like to give us some examples or resources of plat- or platforms that we can utilize uh yeah so basically um basically feedback will be your uh, biggest resource i would say um you need to uh 
फीडबैक है वट इज वट आई मीन बाई फीडबैक इज लाइक यू नीड टू गिव इंटरव्यूज लाइक आई एम दी आई एम आई एम आई एम ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन यू नो आई एम आई आई डेंट हैव दैट मच टेक्निकल स्किल्स यू नो पीपल आर सो मच टेक्निकली ब्रिलियंट आई वुड से एंड एज आई वॉज लेट मी लेट मी से अबाउट समथिंग बाई माई क्वालिफिकेशन एंड लाइक Uh, how difficult it was to me uh, for me to get into this VLSI domain so i was in the uh, I, i didn't have mtech uh, vlsi design kind of a degree post graduate degree and i also didn't have a major project in the mtech uh, for the vlsi domain so that was very difficult initially it was very difficult for me to get into um, you know core uh, dream job in this domain so i kept on giving uh, interviews i failed like like n number of times and I, from each interview i just keep on noting some stuff that i wasn't uh, uh, able to answer so that's how um the, that's how i learned from each interview and uh, uh, at the end i got some three you know you know very big uh, core dream job offers and i chose nx fee to go for so that's that's about uh, that that was uh, the feedback i meant and the second one is nptel uh, of course you need to have a strong resource and nptel is like uh, like it's 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 everything you can ask for for the um, particularly for vls i would say so i referred uh, nptel lectures and um, there is uh, um from iit kharagpur indra indranil sen gupta sir which is like a god for vlsi so uh, that's that's the resources basically okay that's a very good point that you discussed yeah. by sharing your experience so moving ahead during the recruitment period like how was the question and answer process handled at your company uh so basically uh, there was four rounds i would i'm not uh, remembering correctly but it's it's a uh, four four round process first one was telephone uh, telephonic uh, interview uh, so um, after uh, i get shortlisted from telephonic interview and then uh, there were uh, the two interviews which was which was focused on uh, my internship experience my uh, i did internship from xilinx so that was more in uh, that uh, so they they asked me about uh, my internship experience and overall as i said uh, the protocol related um, stuffs and uh, basic digital design uh, muxes uh, the registers and this many things uh, very log basics of very log and some basic very log code so that was uh, further two rounds and then the last round was managerial round that was the last round so uh, they uh so it was more like uh, the same but um, it was more into the practical you know uh, practical area the, the question were more um, practical and they ask me uh, they, they 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 go in deep like how how i'm uh, cleared with the basic stuffs so yeah that was the final round So, lastly, any advices that you want to give us to our future aspirants who wants to join the same role as yours? Uh, yeah. So, I would I would say my fellow engineers, my buddies, to to ask uh, first question like uh, why you need this, like why you need this job, like what is the motivation? You need to find motivation for a particular job, and you just go all in for it. Like uh, as I said, you have to be self-critical. You have to uh ask feedback from the uh, do not wait for the hr to give the feedback you, you need to ask then and there like uh what do you feel um, i can improve in which area i can improve you need to ask these questions and you need to after each um, interview you need to be you know you need to add something in yourself so that's that's the, that's the thing and the main uh, main thing is like uh, how do you get this much interviews so, so Uh, you need to have a proper resume also for it so that's the basic things you need to have a proper resume and you need to give as many interviews as possible okay so we wish you a very best of luck yeah. in your life 
And thank, thank you. you so much for joining with us today. It was amazing thank talking you. to you. So thank of course, your juniors and the fellow members who wants to join the same role as yours, will this video be helpful for them? Thank you, thank. You. And I need to. I I wanted to ask. Uh, I I need to say something that um, if anyone of you wants some kind of career guidance or need some um, help from me, you can always you can always ask me in the LinkedIn. Um, so I, I'll be happy to help you guys. Thank you. Yeah. And do let us know your views in the comment section below. We will reach out to you as soon as possible. Yeah. Thanks, Sonia. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.